Hey dear listeners, my name is Yejide Usini. On behalf of myself, my co-author, Professor Winston Aaron, I'm presenting this topic, Promoting Community Pharmacies Involvement in HIV AIDS Services Through Educational Intervention in Nigeria. The WHO is promoting community-based services to end HIV AIDS by 2030. There are reported studies on community pharmacies' involvement in the delivery of HIV test services. However, in Nigeria, studies are scarce and their involvement in antiretroviral medication therapy management is few. Also, no study has evaluated clients' opinion on community pharmacy HCS in Nigeria. The purpose of these studies are to assess the provision of HDS and ARV NTM services by community pharmacies, explore clients' opinion on, of community pharmacy HCS, and evaluate the provision of HIV AIDS services by community pharmacy after going through the HDS and ARV training. This is in view of increasing access to these services and improving community-led HIV AIDS services. The study was conducted in Southwest Nigeria, comprising six states. Participants were community pharmacies working in Pharmacies Council of Nigeria registered community pharmacy and pharmacy clients attended to during the period of the study. The study adopted cross-sectional and longitudinal survey design and was conducted in four stages. The sample size at baseline was determined using the Yaro Ramani formula, stratified and random sampling method were employed in each state, while an average of 15 client questionnaire was given to each community pharmacy to survey their client's opinion. Ethical clearance was obtained. The semi-structured questionnaire on the five-point lecture scales were administered to assess level of involvement of community pharmacies before and after the training. The client's opinion on community pharmacy ACS was also assessed. Participants at the training assessed the training program and evaluated the resource person to determine training program adequacy. Data were analyzed with both descriptive and inferential statistics, and p value was set at 0.05. The stage one is the baseline assessment of community pharmacies' involvement in HCS and ARVM team services and the assessment of clients' opinion of community pharmacy HCS in the six states. Stage two is the development and evaluation of training intervention conducted in only one of the state or your states to respondents that participate in the baseline and who show their willingness to receive training. Monitoring and receipts of summary reports of HCS from community pharmacies every second day of the month and referral of HIV positive clients to healthcare facility for follow up considered the third stage. While the fourth stage is the post training evaluation conducted four months after the training and implementation of same res to same respondents in Ohio State. The social demographic characteristics of the respondents and the pharmacy is as shown in this table. One, 54.7 of respondents are from legal states, while 57.4 are male. Beef, partial of pharmacy degree, which is the basic pharmacy qualification in Nigeria, has 82.1% of the respondents. 80.5 of the respondents were superintendent pharmacy. This table shows that services, community pharmacies have been offering screening services even before the training, has shown that 97.7% have been involved in blood pressure screening, 86.7 in blood sugar, while only 20.8 were involved in HIV test services. He said the barrier to integrating HIV services in their practice include clinic, lack of clinical tools, 46.8%, lack of collaboration with other healthcare professionals, 39.1%, lack of training, 36.2%, others were lack of resource, staff resources, absence of financial compensation, 30%. 
among others. However, respondents who are willing to provide services 87.1 and participate in the training cost 91.1%. The clients, the level of involvement of, of community pharmacy in H, uh, HCS before the training was also evaluated in this in this in this table the main score showed that community uh, their involvement were on the average also their involvement in in art mtm services before the training as shown by this main score is also on the average The clients were also surveyed as 52.2 were female and 50.1 were single. It also shows that the clients have earlier identified community pharmacy as point of care testing centers and had conducted blood pressure screening 60.4 blood glucose screening 38.9 while only 22 had ever conducted hiv testing which corroborate the earlier responses of the community pharmacy however most of the respondents 77.4 were willing to participate in hiv screening in the community pharmacy Participants' opinion at the training was evaluated using these 10 items indicator, while the mean score was high, showing that the training program was, they were well satisfied with the training program. Also, participants evaluated the resource person on their presentation ability, expertise, usefulness of the topic, relevance of topic, completeness of the content, the average mean score for each resource person was also high. We showed the good performance. After four months after the training, 919 tests have been conducted, 19 were positive. In the fourth month, the responses of the community pharmacies were lower than the previous month because due to the fact that most, most of them has used up their test trips and we're not able to replenish them. Comparing the level of involvement in HIV tests before and after the training shows that there was significant difference in the main score of the HIV test provided before and after the training. However, there are no significant difference in ART MTN services provided. In conclusion, community pharmacies were involved in the provision of screening services and indicated favorable attitude to providing HIV aid services. Clients were willing to receive ATS in community pharmacies to increase the knowledge of their HIV status. HIV status, HIV services provided by community pharmacies significantly increased after the training, showing that training has impacts in the provision of services and will help community pharmacies to develop the skills required for their extended role. We recommended that community pharmacy should be designated and recognized as point of care testing and prime health care center. Clinical tools should be made available at community pharmacy. Community pharmacy should be remunerated for services provided and establish collaboration between community pharmacy and other health care facility we facilitate referral system. These are our references. We acknowledge, we acknowledge community pharmacies that presented in the study all research assistant, resource persons, and donor to the training. No conflict of interest is declared. Thank you.